How to Clear Chrome Slash Chromium Edge Service Worker Cache Note that this is not the cache folder. It's the cache of service worker, the path should be, up data backslash local backslash Microsoft backslash edge backslash user data backslash default backslash service worker. Recently I noticed my hard drive is almost full so I want to clean it up. I noticed the while the cache folder is acceptable, 200 MB, the cache of service worker folder is so big, and GT, 1 GB. I tried and register all the service workers but the cache folder is still there. Can I safely just delete them from Windows Explorer? P.S. As a developer, I am amazed by the amount of registered service workers. Most of them are trackers and useless stuff I should have removed before. I have read this article but it didn't work for me because I don't want to delete cookies as well, I need them. Unfortunately Chrome slash Edge group that into one option. I can't just go to each website to delete individual service worker cache. My own service worker cache is found at the folder. C colon backslash users backslash username backslash updater backslash local backslash Microsoft backslash edge backslash user data backslash default backslash service worker backslash cache storage backslash 3 said 74 d 44 f 2 e 8 4 1 9 8 d 2 3 0 7 5 8 16 c 34 a 668 sub. I have tried to clean it up using in edge column slash slash settings slash clear browser data the option of cached images and files, but this didn't touch the service worker cache. So I just went into the above folder with Explorer and deleted all its contents, but left the folder itself in place. Then I started Microsoft Edge, and it started without any problem. It also repopulated the folder with new content. So my answer is, yes, you can delete it from Explorer. If you are worried about safety, you may at first step move the contents to a temporary folder and run Microsoft Edge. If everything works well, you may then delete the temporary folder. Note, Google Chrome behaves in exactly the same way. Its cache is found at C colon backslash users backslash username backslash updater backslash local backslash Google backslash Chrome backslash user data backslash default backslash service worker. At Herring C has answered how to brute flush your cache. Here's a method to go website by website, understanding a bit more about what's going on. If you insert Chrome slash edge slash Vivaldi slash dot 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 column slash slash service worker internal slash into the address bar, you can see all registered service workers. However, unregistering them through that page won't clear the cache as this comprehensive article on love to dev notes. Instead, if for example, youtube.com has registered a service worker, navigate to that website and open the developer console. Open the application tab and the storage item. Here, you'll see how much storage your service worker occupies, and you can select which data to clear for that website, for example retaining only the cookies. Note that the service worker will restart as soon as you navigate to that site again. If you wish to choose which applications can install a service worker on your system, follow the steps described in this article, using the Ublock plugin. It's a wild guess, but 5 GB of service worker storage is probably some webmail client with offline content enabled. It is fundamental to understand that service workers were initially conceived for mobile devices who are not always online, and thus will cache some web application data on the local system. Also, a service worker can receive push messages for an inactive web app, and wake up that app. Gmail is a prime example, 
On mobile, you can read and amp, write email while offline, and it will sync as soon as you go online. And even if the Gmail app is not active after a phone restart, the service worker will receive the push message that you have something new in your inbox. As such, on a PC which is always connected to internet, service workers are not really necessary, except maybe to speed up the experience on some websites. It could however be that nowadays some websites simply won't work correctly if you block their service worker, but I'd say that's bad coding practice. For a more comprehensive understanding, read the two linked articles. Also, Google's introduction to service workers can shed some more light on what's going on. A safer solution to clear that folder. In Chrome slash Edge slash Vivaldi, go to Settings and GT, Privacy and Security and GT, Cookies and Other Site Data and GT, see All Cookies and Site Data, you will get a list of all sites, which have saved data on your computer. Some is only cookies, but some will have local storage or database storage. It is possible to check each item, for how much storage is used. You may use Remove All, to delete everything, but be aware that all cookies and similar are also deleted.